My fellow Americans, as your President, I have taken a vow to represent the concerns and interests of each and every citizen in this great nation of ours. I recently realized that on my journey to the White House, I may have failed certain groups in our community, and today I would like to make amends for my shortcomings in this regard by publicly apologizing to Katz. Throughout my campaign, you will have heard me talk about dogs, dog this, dog that, dog the other. But cats are great too. I like cats. As a young child growing up in Hawaii, I remember watching the courage and bravery of Tom as he relentlessly tried to hunt down and wipe out Jerry Mouse during his reign of rodential terrorism. Is rodential a word? I don't think so. Let's make it one. Yes, sir. I applaud the work of Top Cat, who protects our streets and local communities working closely with our law enforcement officers. What was his name? Officer Dibble. Yes. Officer Dibble. He was the most effectual top cat, whose intellectual close friends got to call him TC, the indisputable leader of the gang. He's the boss. He's a pip. He's the most tip-top top cat. And like many Americans, I too laughed and cried as members of the feline race fought and struggled to survive against insurmountable odds in Born Free. Today I vow to bring to an end the violence suffered by... Which one's the cat? Scratchy. You sure? Yes, sir. Violence suffered by Scratchy at the hands of Itchy and to restore the balance of playful camaraderie to the Itchy and Scratchy show. And finally, I urge all Americans throughout this great nation to look with honesty and sympathy into the eyes of our kittens. For these kittens are the cats of tomorrow. God bless America and meow.